What's going on guys? Thrills on a block back again. I'm in the garage with the 77 C10 pickup truck. It's pretty high, which means it's on a lift. And if you guys saw the previous video, we have an issue of fuel leaking on the floor. So I didn't want to do this. I wouldn't plan on doing this, but I got to pull the tank out. So let's get to it. All right, so my super foggy memory, if it serves me correctly, a decade ago when I did this, there are two bolts. They go around the top of the fuel tank. There's a strap at the rear. There's a strap at the front. And there's a bolt <clears throat> that goes, I believe, through the top, which you can't really see there. But if you loosen up those straps, your tank will come out. You also need to remove the clamp around your fuel filler. There's a vent hose. Uh, you can also remove that one. So I'm going to get those loose and then I'm going to get in there and try to get those two up around the uh, fuel tank straps. And I probably won't be able to get this tank out on the lift looking at it because my lift bars are right in the way. Because, you know, that's just always how it goes. So I'll have to do some MacGyvering and fiddling around and all kinds of fun stuff to get this thing to work i'll probably move this lift arm back to the back portion of the frame somewhere try to squeeze it in between the parking brake maybe i can clear it that way um i think if i get the lift arm out of the way there'll be a chance of me getting it out on the lift and not having to drop the truck off the lift on some stands but if i have to drop it on some stands i'll do that too whatever it takes anyway i'm gonna get to it it's gonna be kind of challenging to show you guys where everything is so there's a screw or a bolt way up on top of the tank there and way down there on top of that strap um i'll try to show you after i get it out because it's kind of hard to show you before i mean stick the camera in there and you can kind of see but not really it's not a lot of space so instead of me boring you guys trying to figure out how to get the camera to show you where the bolts are at i'll just show you when it's easier to show you that makes sense. Uh, yeah, if you don't want to remove your fuel tank, um, like down here, if you don't want to do that, you can um, come right here and take these screws loose and that goes to the inside. Once you take that loose, you can push it through and take the thing out that way too. So it saves you from having to fight with that clamp that's right down in there because that clamp could be a nightmare. I've done that one before and it doesn't always play nice. All right, so we're down here underneath the truck and. I went ahead and jacked up the fuel tank where it was already dented, so no harm there. If you don't have a dented fuel tank, take your two by four, run it between this brace and that brace, and you can lift up the whole tank at one time, which I probably should do anyway, but I'm not. It's already damaged, so anyway. Oh, sliding up here on the inside of the frame. This is the back mount. There are four nuts, nine sixteenths. I'm sorry, four bolts, four nine sixteenths bolts. There's two left in here. There's one that goes there and one that goes down here. <coughs> Or down down there right there yeah i already got that one out and one over there so one left on this side anyway you got four on this side at the back strap you got four up there at the front strap same thing they're inside the frame which is kind of in that area there yep hard to see hard to reach and i'm working on this big old lift that i love so much <clears throat> um so if you don't have the lift in the way probably pretty easy to get to i kind of crawl over mine uh, and I couldn't get it out with it up in the air. At least I don't think. It had been a little bit challenging for me to snake my way up in there while this thing's up in the air, so I lowered it down. So 9 16 so if you got a half inch impact, it'll make your life a lot easier. Back those eight bolts out, and then this tank will come down. I recommend you put a jack underneath it, or uh, just stand clear, because it'll probably roll up out of there. And uh, make sure you unscrew that thing. I unscrewed it from the outside. Let me show you real quick. Three screws on the outside, and then the next loose. You'll need that loose so you can get it out of there. All right, I'm gonna go fight this tank up out of this thing. I won't uh, take you guys for this journey because it's gonna be ugly. Oh yeah, wear some uh, PPE, get some goggles on. Mask is probably a good idea. Cover your mouth so you don't get dirt in your mouth. And um, probably wanna wear some gloves and just be prepared for a fight. Because uh, yeah, it's a good little battle. I remember last time I did this, I was in a grass yard, I think it was. So, yeah, this concrete makes it easier. That lift, not so much. And even if you had a two-post lift, I don't think you could get it out unless you went back behind the tank, back in there, that area right there, kind of where the parking brake thing is on the frame. So this is a little bit challenging. Now, if you had a drive-on lift, you know, you drove on with the tires, 
that'd be one where you could get this right out. So, well, provided your drive on lift doesn't have ramps to run straight across, because you still you'd be underneath the tank. So anyway, you win some, you lose some. This one we're gonna win. We're just gonna win it a different way. I'm gonna get back to work. I'll show you once we get the tank out. All I can say is be prepared for a fight because it was not easy. You probably won't have your vehicle elevated because otherwise you can't clear that fuel neck with it sitting on the ground. Even the four inches I have with these dollies wasn't enough. So probably have it on some jack stands that'll help you get up as high as you need to get that out. Provided you can get, you can't get to this. So I couldn't get to this guy because it's on the inside. I may have got there. And then this guy, I mean, you can see these clamps. They've not been off. And who knows? I mean, that was broke. Yeah. Yep. 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 Probably original, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, got it out. I don't know where it's leaking at. Probably somewhere on the side, I'm guessing. So I got to unbolt those. Get the straps off. Then we'll just get a new tank. All right, got that monster out of there. Um, yeah, it was a pain. Need to get these brackets loose to see if these straps are any good. Hopefully they are. I'm planning just on replacing the tank. I'm assuming it's cracked on the inside because it's leaking fuel. It's not leaking from the sending unit. It's strap top, so it's got to be leaking from the side. Probably leaking from the side of the tank underneath where it's strapped in. One of the straps or something might have cracked it or just rusted through. So... Anyway, I'm going to clean up the sending unit and do a couple tests on it. I think it's still good. It was working, I believe, as far as I could tell. So, probably just keep it on there. As long as it's not all rusted and nasty, I'll keep the sending unit on there. But for now, I'm going to get this tank outside, get out of the way, because I've got to get back to cutting up the floors.